what you want to do is look to the future. Most people think about maybe their next job, but really this comes from my background as a chess player. You don't think one move ahead, mm -hmm. you try to think six or seven. Right. Look to where you want to be long term. Say, so, okay, here's a job I want in, let's say, 10 years. Well, if I'm going to be there in 10 years, where do I need to be in seven years, in five years, in three years? Okay, where are the skills I need to get that job in five years? Okay, so I have to gain these skills. I need this type of experience. How do you set yourself up? So you're going to create a path to that future job. And in fact, there might be multiple paths there. You might not have one future job. You might have, well, I'm, I'm going in this direction and I'll kind of figure out the details later. So I talk about different ways you can do this and you can start from saying, what's the goal? Work your way backwards and create plans that of course are gonna be more concrete in the short term and a little fuzzier as you go out. Now, the important thing with plans is people say, well, you can't plan for this stuff. You, you never know what's going to happen. Of course, if any of us ever went to our boss and said, hey, listen, this project we're doing for next six months, look, I'm not going to bother giving you a project plan because we all know we're not going to stick to that plan exactly. So why even waste our time? I was like, hey, no way, make that plan. I'm not expecting you to follow it exactly. We know it's going to be some variance, but let's have a plan. Same thing with our careers that last not six months, but years. So you're going to make this plan, but very important, like any project we do, you're going to revise that plan. Your goals might change or your steps along the way might change. And that's perfectly acceptable.